Good morning, guys. Welcome to another weekend in my life. If you're new here, my name is Ree. On this channel, we talk about a lot of things, mainly travel, life, and beauty. So if you're interested in those things, you should subscribe. Uh, yes, come on in. We would love to have you. Anyway, today it's Friday weekend. We're starting it. Um, and we're on our way to a veterinary appointment. Q Pepper. Anyway, so we're on our way to the vet. This is Peppa's kind of like real first pet visit. But I will fill y'all in on a little later on why we're going to the vet just for a regular checkup. But yeah, stay tuned. Say hi. Time to go. just got done with the vet that was a great visit i really like them i like happy pets it was nice we just got done with the pet visit it was good let me explain to you what happened so basically if y'all have content that's pepper she met an ac vent that's my dog right now just having a whole episode trying to catch ac anyway I got a chi green smoothie from NRG. It took 20 minutes, but it's still good. Anyway, explaining what happened to Peppa. Last night, <coughs> after I took Peppa out to use the bathroom, I noticed that there was something on her eye. And it wasn't like a regular bugger. She had a lot of bugger. It wasn't like a regular bugger. It was red. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's a bug on Peppa's eye. Obviously, dogs, two things, they have ticks and fleas. So, I said, Papa, that looks like a tick. So, I had to pin her down, and it turned out to be two ticks sucking out her eye. And then I said, you know what? Let me just do a full scan. I did that full scan. I found a tick in her ass, a tick in her paw, a tick, like, everywhere. I was like, Papa, this dog is infested with ticks. Bear in mind, I knew something was up with Papa because initially, the first vet where I got her from, because she had a breeder. So the vet, the breeder's vet said that there might be a skin allergy just because, you know, some dogs, some dogs develop like puppy skin allergies, like little rashes or whatever to get used to whatever chemicals maybe on the floor or the new environment they're using on the grass, something like that. So here I am thinking it's just a skin allergy and I just need to watch it. Like kind of like give her maybe some coconut oil to help us skin. These ticks showed up last night. And after I put the salmon one out, I was like, she needs to go to a vet because i did some research and i figured out how to pull out ticks properly but more than that like obviously when you're pulling out a tick they release toxins or how long that tick was on papa my brother was like these ticks are red so they were sucking her blood for a good while so i know with ticks they release a lot of diseases and toxins into your puppy and i just got papa like i didn't look at her like she's so dramatic i just got pepper so i didn't want anything bad to happen to her under my watch so i told you know i'm like i'm going into the vet as soon as i can so i called happy pets and they had an appointment for today and i ended up hearing her today which i'm very grateful for she has a lot of medication she has her heart guard her next guard for her ticks and fleas she's on antibiotics to make sure that any diseases from the ticks and fleas they don't get her and then she's also on something else i can't remember and i gotta bring her back for her rabies shot next month but moral of the story is if something's going on with your dog like check on it sooner rather than later like i would have easily been like oh yeah she have ticks and fleas like i gotta fix it myself but i was like i'm new to this 
there's a reason why these people go to vet school they have all this knowledge so i'm very grateful for happy pets and all their help and peppa's on a lot of medication now so i'm hopefully she's gonna start to feel better and stop itching peppa's been itching since i freaking had all this dog is itching legitimately since i had peppa she has itched so i know it's been a problem for her and i think today we're getting it fixed that's basically my friday i want to go back home and do some work do some nine to five work and then i want to really knock that out by five because i want to do my youtube work because as you guys know a new video goes live every single saturday so i want to get that done and yeah that is what my friday is looking like so if anything else good happens i'll show you guys <laughs> but talk to you guys in a bit this is what the vet recommended for Papa's ticks and fillies. So we're gonna give one of these now. Hopefully she likes it. Here you go, Bumps. You can actually get out and she'll spit it out and save it. Officially, whoa, let me turn some there. All right, so it's officially lunchtime. Got me some Tostitos crispy rounds, and then I made. I feel like I already mentioned it in another video, but guacamole is honestly one of the best things you could ever give me. So I just make like my own fresh guacamole, chips and dips. I'm a chip and dipper. It's one of the quickest ways to my heart. <laughs> so I'm about to eat this guacamole with these chips. Watch some Modern Family on Netflix and check in with you guys later. Here we are now vlogging. I'm currently on the Popeyes drive-thru, but y'all already knew that. But yeah, it's been a day. I just did not feel like making lunch. I was like, if, if I get to the stove right now, I just would be a miserable person. Plus, my brother ate all my bread, so that's life for you. But yeah, how are you guys doing? How's everyone weekend going? So, just a little update on what the Bahamas is doing right now with COVID. We are back on a 9 p.m. curfew. And it seems a little aggressive, um, but I guess it's expected because the cases just keep on going up. So, I guess the government is just like, y'all need to stay in y'all house a little more. It went from like 9 to 10 to 11 to 10 back to 9 is honestly abuse <laughs> this morning so hopefully we don't get any weekend lockdowns because i'm sure nobody is ready to go back there so hopefully this gets us together i mean honestly a good chunk of us are vaccinated so it's just you know always washing your hands wearing your mask those are the basics but i wanted to talk to you guys about something and i'm trying to remember what it is pepper's good the hell i wanted to talk to y'all about not as set my mind my mind is be like on wheel of fortune and i'm trying to guess the letters give me a second i've entered my penny yeah. oh, okay. thank you <laughs> my Popeyes also there was a very bad accident driving in on the way home so we gotta thank God for life but I need to get into this Popeyes and I want to eat this now because when I go in there you know, I don't have to deal with Papa I just need some me time I honestly do anyway if you if you are new here hi um, my Popeyes go to order is usually the butterfly shrimp, but they don't have any they don't have that special anymore So now I'm back to the popcorn shrimp with mashed potatoes iced tea and Mardi Gras mustard Because we're gonna put the Mardi Gras mustard in there and it's gonna be a problem. Let us sanitize. Amen. There it is Gots to sanitize 
but I'm about to go in. But yeah, I know. I remember while I was driving <laughs> what I wanted to talk to y'all about. Point number one, I hit a horrible pothole in my car and now I feel like I'm literally dive, like driving a death trap. It's actually very alarming because sometimes this wheel, it will start to shake and like not normal shake, like shake like something loose. So I definitely did something to my car and at this point, I always knew I wanted a new car at this point, so I'm just trying to figure out do I even go to Megana get it fixed and try to ride this out? Or do I just like, my car is already in the 100K category, which means like everybody knows like after your car hits 100K, there's a slow deterioration because you've driven it for that, like 100,000 um, kilometers in this case. But yeah, I gotta figure out my car thing. So, like I said, I think I said this in my monthly reset. I want to do maybe a car shopping vlog with y'all. Just to see what I what I can afford. It's not the best time for me right now. But if I can find a really good deal on a more reliable car, I need a Jeep. Because I am too tall. I'm 5'9". These little low cars be killing my knees. So I really want an affordable Jeep. So, we shall see. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about was the fact that I was in such a rut like last week, early this week for example, one night I just came home took deal with Pepper and I went to bed like 9pm and I didn't wake up until probably like 8, 8.30 which is almost like 12 hours of sleep but I just collapsed my body was like, if you look at one screen if you do one more thing I will end you and I just was like okay let me stop fighting it oh, all signs was pointing to my bed and I felt like such a rut I couldn't do anything I wanted to do with my evening and I just felt, it, and it honestly felt like that for like at least three days like back to back and it felt like hot pure crap I got out of it eventually but it took a lot and I honestly had to sit I had to pray and I had to talk to people about it and it'd be like I don't know why I'm feeling so yucky but I'm feeling a lot better now. I think what helps is just having that community and support system and giving myself grace. What do you guys do like when you feel like you're in a rut slash you feel like hot crap? Because for me personally, I listen to my body, I sleep. I try to figure out why I feel so off. So it might be the fact that I'm eating like hot crap or I stop working out or I just feel overwhelmed. That happens. Because for me, I was trying to do 9 to 5 stuff that I picked up. And I was trying to pump out two videos a week. And I just was like, I got blue. I was just was like, this is how it ends for me. So, I just feel like sometimes I have to be like, you know what, Reno? It's okay. No Wednesday video. No Wednesday, South Thursday video. That's just do the Saturday video. So you get more time to rest. And I felt like that was okay. I honestly don't know how some people on youtube spit out like two to three videos a week i don't have a job i don't have children i'm through a lot i can make it anyway that's what i want to talk to you guys about but how i felt like i was in a hot rut but i got out of it through listening to my body and stuff and then how my car is slowly my car is two seconds away from turning into a decepticon but what could you do Alright, I'm gonna kill this Popeyes. This Popeyes is divine. Personally, I like to eat my Popeyes as soon as I get it. So I didn't like to wait, but it's still hitting. Three hours later. So, here we are. I'm in car with the one and only Big Brother. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> Alright, we are on our way to watch Free Guy, which is, I don't really know much about it. I just know it's a new movie with Ryan Reynolds, and I am a huge Ryan Reynolds fan. I think he's hilarious. I loved him in The Proposal. So because he's in the movie, I trust it, and I am accompanying my brother. I kind of hitchhiked his solo date, and I'm accompanying him to watch this movie. So we are on our way to Fusion Super Blacks to catch the 6 o'clock showing. And it's gonna be an IMAX. Love me some IMAX. Y'all, I driving in front of my car, like this dude legit stole my car. I'm highly emotional. I really want this car. Oh, dude driving my car. It's almost. 
almost like robbery. Give me it. Fun fact about me, my dream car is like a Jeep Wrangler, four door, a Sahara Unlimited, like a bad boy Jeep Wrangler. And I just tell my brother, like, I need to go, yep, Bahamas, bus and truck co, Nassau, Bahamas. That is a four door Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Exactly what I said it was, it was. Put some respect on my name. Time for the movie. Woo! OOTD, he's wearing his dead fool shirt. Look at him. Hey, doing Reno. I'm doing Reno. This is Reno. OOTD. OOTD. Life of VHC. My brother's hair look like a 90s superstar. I got my boys in the hood. Deadpool. What? Graphic day. Movie. Yeah, honestly, it was hilarious. Uh, a lot of gaming jokes, a lot of fun, fun, powerful. It's a Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, he's uh, unstoppable. Executive producer, you know. Oh my gosh. I feel like it was it was a needed laughter, and it, it also has life lessons, you know, especially. That's see, but I did call. Okay, give me credit though. Did I not call what happened? What's gonna happen in the movie? I don't know what you said. What you said. Thing you produce what'd you say? What'd you say? You no. like, well, I told you I whispered to you that anyway, I'm not gonna give any spoilers, you can't remember what you but said. I did okay. I, we'll talk about that separately. But y'all, this is like if you, you if you ever play, affirmation, no, no, if you ever played The Sims or if you ever played Grand Theft Auto, this game is for you, this movie is for you, you have to watch it. It's so good, it honestly is really good. It's like about any the pursuit video of games. purpose, but like. Yeah, make a spoil it, but go watch yeah. Free Guy. But a good mental break. Shout out to Lil Rel, holding it down. Yeah, he is very short. Holding it down. Ryan Wells is taller. He's like six something. Yeah, he's like six feet. Yeah, he's huge. He's funny. Bro. I heard he's funny in movies and real life. That's crazy. So when you have both, like when you funny in like both of your lives, that's crazy. One anyway. more aspect and he would have been too funny and snap. Sorry, that's a reference in the movie. Wow. <laughs> Say bye bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he give mommy high five. What? Can I get high five? Yeah! <laughs> You know, just for her daily salt cleansing, her, you know, monthly salt cleansing. She seems to like it. So, we're on our way to the beach. What's new here? I'm going to link uh, the puppy vlog, her first beach experience, which was just super cute. So, I'll link that. But, yeah. Time for the beach. Also, shout out to me because, as y'all can see, all of the mini braids are out. So... I'm gonna get a quality swim in. Yup, it's gonna happen. I feel it. Hopefully these rain clouds let up. Beach day, woo! Anyone say babe? Life for real too. Wow, they already do that. <laughs> So, Beach Day was amazing. Just what I needed. It was honestly right on time. So, cue my hair. Just doing what I want to do. But, it's natural hair for y'all. But, um, Papa is divine. Look at her. We're currently at the bank. So, Papa's chilling. She was super good at the beach. I think she likes it now. At first, I wasn't sure. But now, I know Papa likes the beach. Because she was having a time of her life. Beach day was great, y'all. Beach day is always great. I love the summer. I love it, hell. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell. 
<laughs> I love it hell, truly. But yeah, leave a comment down below when last you had a beach day. I want to know. Right for E18. Oh, yeah, dog, she did. Not the two men she did. You want to come in fast. Night you have one, two. Body smoking like a cigarette. Oh, ah. Baby, I can smoke it tight. What you just do? Wow. wow. You just bought crab, yo. And conk. And conk. Do it on a roll. You want to tell people your plans? Wow. Bought crab. What's it? So crab conk and dough. Crab and dough and conk. Conk salad. salad. That's your plan for tonight. Yep. So it's a party. Life for re <laughs> Hey guys, hopping in here to end this vlog. Thank you so so much for watching. Be sure to give a thumbs up if you enjoy my vlogs like this. I'll be sure to do more of these for you guys. As always, I appreciate you. I value you. Yeah, you bad. I'll see you next one. Bye.